Okay, so I just finished watching Green Eggs and Ham's second season called Green Eggs and Ham, the second serving. And while I still really enjoyed uh, this season, I will say though, it's not as good as the first season. It's not. I, I think it's also partially because the first season was such a surprise on, you know, how good it was. But I think also in this season, this feels, I guess, more generic in places. And with this one, you can definitely tell exactly where things are going to go, like, in terms of everything. And, for example, the first season, you know, had that infamous twist in the episode. I'm Again, I'm going to be as spoiler-free as possible, but this season... Yeah, it doesn't really have that uh, in terms of it. The story literally goes beat for beat, note by note, for the most part. So, yeah. Um, so, this season sees Sam reunite with his mother. Now, the thing about that is, I thought that that would be a journey that would happen throughout the season. But, no, they he literally finds his mother at the start of the first episode... And it's about them, you know, trying to reconnect in that to some part. So, yeah, it's revealed that his mother is a secret spy. And, you know, a lot of this is doing a sort of James Bond-esque sort of parody kind of thing, which you've kind of seen it all before kind of thing. Like, just like, oh, you, you know, I had to keep you safe, which is why I let you go kind of thing, uh, it's just like, it's, it's kind of been played out a lot, and they don't really do anything different with it, I'll, I'll say it like, you know, and the, it's just like, yeah, also EB in this season has the whole, has a whole Romeo and Juliet subplot, because this is also ugly times, but uh, the main plot of this season is is that there are these two you know fictional uh countries that are at war or about to be at war with each other essentially um and both of them are trying to basically both of them hate the other because one country butters its toast on the top and the other butters its toast on the bottom Yes, I'm serious. That that is the reason for their conflict, which, yeah, it is pretty pretty funny initially. But it's just, mm. yeah, I I guess it is a very Doctor Seuss way to talk about uh, war and conflict. So, yay <laughs> in terms of that. Something I will say, though, is fantastic throughout. One, is the voice acting, but two, is the animation. The animation is fantastic. It's one of the best-looking Netflix shows. If you don't know, the the first season, you know, made some headlines by being, I think, one of the only frame-by-frame -frame hand-drawn uh, animations to come out, at least in the West, for a long long time in terms of being you know frame by frame hand drawn it's still um done digitally but you know the fact that it's gone that allows a lot more fluid movement and a lot more expressions and everything so yeah i believe that's continued on with this season i believe so but uh yeah um in terms of everything else uh you know, the, this season, I'd say junk, definitely uh, the f the final three episodes of the season are definitely a strong point. But I think uh, episodes like three and four do feel a bit fillery. In fact, uh, the first two episodes, uh, you know, kind of a, an in a bit of that as well. But... Three and four do feel a bit fillery. This is only 10 episodes this time around, as opposed to the previous season's 13. And I've got to be honest, it, it, this does feel like it's maybe got six episodes, six 
eight out of push episodes worth of content to it and it just kind of feels like midway through it's just like they're trying to scold things and create artificially create some conflict in there that didn't really need to be there in the first place it does feel a bit forced but overall I still I still did really enjoy it but uh, this season is definitely very you know different from the first season I think I think it kind of lacks that you know sort of uh, charm as much because the first season didn't really have anything to go off this one it's trying to be both like a spy kind of parody kind of thing but also trying to you know be about war and then you've got this Romeo and Juliet kind of thing happening in there it just kind of feels like a load of things are kind of thrown in there together and do they gel together you know sometimes yes sometimes no um but uh yeah at the moment we don't know whether we're getting a third season um I was surprised we actually got this second season because it is it was meant to come out I think in 2020 initially and then it kept getting delayed and kept getting delayed. But, you know, finally, out of the blue, it has actually came out. So, yeah, I still would highly recommend it. I see it. You know, if you did enjoy the f first season, you'll definitely still probably enjoy this one. But in terms of quality, I definitely say the first season uh, was better. And had a bit more of a variety to it as well. Because in this season, I think there's a lot of switching between characters and locations. And because in this season, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of characters that we keep following. And we keep switching and switching between different characters, different locations. It's got a lot of scuff just kind of happens. So it kind of feels like they knew that there wasn't enough to fill out 10 episodes. They just kind of threw in a load of things in there. But... I still enjoyed it regardless. So yeah, anyway, that's it for this quick thoughts on watching after just watching the, the season. So yeah, hopefully we do get a third season, but uh, there we go.